So yesterday I saw this news, uh, Twitch laying off 500 uh, staffs, which I think is not good news. It probably leads credibility uh, to the story that uh, Twitch is not making any money. Uh, of course, you can always fire people when you are making money as well. But generally, this happens more often when people are trying to cut costs, right? Because if you're making a lot of money and you keep hiring people, you keep getting new investments, new money, new profit, etc. Uh, usually when this happens, I would imagine they're looking for ways to cut costs in order to try and become profitable. This is also the story that the CEO and the second in command of Twitch told me and many other streamers at TwitchCon last year. But of course, you always just have to take their word for it, whether that's true or not, because anyone can say, oh, we're not profitable, but actually they are, right? Like they may just be wanting to make more money or whatever. So the story that I got last year from them is that they're not profitable yet. They need to figure out how live streaming is very expensive and that advertisements are a really big part of trying to become profitable. So the subbing that everyone's doing, no matter how supportive or generous, is not enough for them and the split. So they actually have been canceling all the contracts that streamers had with preferential uh, treatment. Uh, maybe like the extreme elite still has one, but overall everyone lost their exclusive partnership. You are now allowed to stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, which is something that Twitch normally took a stand against. Uh, if you wanted to keep your Twitch partnership and profit anyway. And now they are announcing that they are doing 500 job cuts, which apparently is one third of the workforce, which is a lot. Now, the world, of course, went through the trend with the, uh, the 2019 and 2020 happenings. Tech had a big boost when everyone was staying at home. And then after that kind of ended, tech probably has a bubble popped. We see this in, uh, of course, we see this in the digital entertainment industry like Twitch and YouTube. So yeah, commiserations to everyone that has been affected by this. But let's take a look because the email of the CEO to everyone is inside as well. And I'm curious what they're saying. They emailed employees at 6 a.m. announcing 500 layoffs. Dan Clancy, which is the CEO, also shared the same memo in a blog post. It's di he's disappointed it was leaked after Bloomberg Bloomberg already reported the news on Tuesday, which is yesterday. More than a third of its workforce. That's not even that many people that work at Twitch. Uh, the Amazon owned live streaming platform posted a memo in a blog post and sent the same message to employees by email. It was sent at 6 a.m. PT according to a timestamp on the email. A difficult update about our people. The announcement came after Bloomberg reported Tuesday that Twitch was cutting 35% of its workforce. Clancy said he was disappointed the information leaked and apologized to staff. Our hope was he would all hear from us this morning and very quickly understand how this impacted your role. Man, that sucks. Figuring out that you might be fired via public news, via a leak. Isn't that brutal? And then like this Wednesday, you'll be wondering, is it me? And you don't know. One out of three. Despite cost-cutting efforts and efficiency measures, Twitch is meaningfully bigger than it needed to be. So they think they have bloat. They think they have some bureaucratic bloat, perhaps. Meaningfully bigger than it needed to be. He added that its restructuring was, bas was based on conservative predictions for growth, but that business remains strong as it paid streamers more than 1 billion last year. That's not even that much. Don't you th guys think? 1 billion for all streamers in a year. Because <laughs> Amaranth made 57 million with her OnlyFans. That's 5% of, uh, of all this. One person. The company launched a partner program in June where streamers can get a 70% revenue split for monthly subscriptions and gift subs for up to a year. However, payouts were capped at 100k. Yeah. Twitch didn't immediately uh, respond to a request for comment. Here's the blog post. Ah, here's the message. This is what they would have been reading. Team, today I have some incredibly difficult news to share. As you all know, we have worked hard over the last year to run our business as sustainably as possible. Unfortunately, we still have work to do to right size our company and I re regret having to share that we are taking the painful step to reduce our headcount by just over 500 people across Twitch. This will be a very hard day. Our service exists to empower communities to create together. And every single one of you has played a vital role 
in fostering our community and furthering that mission. I know many of you are wondering why this is happening. Over the last year, we've been working to build a more sustainable business so that Twitch will be here for the long run. And throughout the year, we have cut costs and made many decisions to be more efficient. Unfortunately, despite these efforts, it has become clear that our organization is still meaningfully larger than it needs to be given the size of our business. Last year, we paid over 1 billion to streamers. So while the Twitch business remains strong for some time now, the organization has been sized based upon where we optimi optimistically expect our business to be in three years or more, not where we're at today. As with many other companies in the tech space, we are now sizing our organization based upon the current scale of our business and conservative predictions of how we expect to grow in the future. This decision, while incredibly difficult and painful, is necessary to ensure that we can continue to serve our streamers sustainably without impacting their ability to support their careers on Twitch. Part of what makes this so difficult is the passion that so many of you share for the Twitch community and the hard work you've put into serving our streamers. I know you're all wondering what this means for you and your role moving forward. While we know it's better to hear about the impact face to face, we realize it's more important to share the news with affected individuals as quickly as possible, especially since they had the leak, right? With that in mind, here's what you can expect within the next hour. If your role is affected by this decision and you live in the US, Canada, Brazil, Mexico or Singapore, full stop. In the next few minutes, I will send an email to this group of people sharing the unfortunate news that your position is being eliminated and important details on everything we're doing to support you through this transition. Afterwards, your org leader will reach out directly via email with more specific information about your severance package and to give you the option to speak with them individually. These one-on-one -on -one meetings will take place over the next few days. If your role is affected by this decision and you're not in any of the countries li uh, listed above, in the next few minutes, you'll receive an email from Lauren Nunez with more specific information on the process and next steps which vary by country. For everyone who's leaving Twitch today, I know how important it is to say goodbye to your colleagues. So you will retain access to Slack and your email until 1 p.m. PT. Wow. I cannot judge if this is meta. That feels so sudden. It feels so sudden. We're cutting, like, they're cutting it off so quickly, but there must be a reason for it. Like they don't want people to trash talk and share like revenge info on the company or something. Pretty normal for tech companies. It's important to say proper goodbye. You have five minutes. It's usually instant. Right, so this is an extra. Imagine if you were asleep during this time. <laughs> I mean, it's probably their working time normally. So. It's normal to immediately cut you off, says many people in chat. That's crazy. So this is extra generous. I will send another email to this group confirming your role was not affected by this decision if your role was not affected. Afterwards, I plan to host regional all hands throughout the day. What's that? So that you can all hear from me directly. Some kind of conference call with everyone. Details on the time of these sessions and calendar Invites will come through later this uh, morning. An all hands meeting. All hands on deck. My friend learned he was fired from Google by his email not working. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did he also find out that his girlfriend broke up with him with a key not working in the lock anymore? That's the equivalent of. Different all employee meetings by time zone. Oh yeah. I also want to acknowledge how disappointed I was yesterday that this info leaked. I'm sorry to all of you that you had the anxiety that it caused over the last several hours. Our hope was that you would hear from us this morning and very quickly understand how this impacted your role. And we were unfortunately not able to accelerate the timeline, which I know is very frustrating. I want to close with my sincerest apology to everyone who's leaving Twitch. You're some of the most talented, committed and creative people I've ever worked with. Thank you for everything you've done to help us build Twitch and foster our community. We are all here because we believe in the power of Twitch and our community. And while our mission is far from over, right now our focus is on taking care of each other. I'm always grateful for how well you all support and show up for one another during our best and most difficult moments, Dan. Well, that kind of sucks. Sucks for Twitch. And not a great sign that they need to do this much cost cutting. Uh, not super surprising after the... Uh, 
pandemic. Mm. And what it means to you guys, the viewers and me, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully I will still have a place with Twitch. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's the news. That's the news. Thoughts? Last stream. I mean, I'm trying to do what I can. I'm, there's more ads on the channel these days. <laughs> For like a year, a year and a half, I resisted running ads on my channel when they started ramping it up and impressing upon us continually the need to do so. I recently let up. Yeah. Yeah, I want them shorter too, Great Dismal. But there you go. Hey, Grubby, first time viewer. I've been watching your leak videos and enjoying and cringing often, thanks. I understand. I watched back my Herald, which is like bronze, Dota videos from when I started. I watched them back like a week ago. I would like put a control ward equivalent of, see two stealth wards equivalent of, uh, and then just walk away because I didn't see it, see it. I was like, put a sentry, see enemy ops and just walk away. I was not good and it was sometimes painful to watch. The better you are, the more it hurts to see your teammate uh, or someone else be bad. Probably why Quinn became so toxic uh, to his teammates because, you know, he's that good. But yeah, you also have to try and learn patience to uh, not express it, right? It's not always easy. I became less patient. That's why I'm taking a one day break from Dota today and we're focusing on League. Anyway, this was the Twitch news. Let's go watch the League cinematic. <laughs> 